Okay, we're back, but now there's puppies going in this car, too. Why do these puppies have that behavior from behind the night car? If you said why, I don't know. It seems like if you add a platform early, that just becomes your adaptation. You don't have to be taught to climb over things. That was just what you did. I don't know. I don't remember all of them doing that before. I'm going to get all the other ones doing it. I told the people. And it gets in the car. Oh, it needs it once to get in your car. Let me see if I can get it to get in there. He said, what have you been? I've been sitting out here editing my photos in my films. If you said, should you lure it in there? No, but if you kind of head that way, it goes in there. I think they see it sort of as a platform. Or, no, you know what? He sees it kind of. I think he sees it as like he was already going in the holes of that little, playing in that little play thing over there. <laughs> you little baby. He didn't go in it there. I swear to God, he was just in there. <laughs> if he said, you need to go in there. But they, maybe Sippy goes in there. Set it in there, and it just happened to go in there on its own. He said, What if it doesn't happen to go in there? Then ants coming. <laughs> oh my god, if you're there, Mike, I oh, Frizzy's gonna go find it. If you say, I'll keep looking in there. So he's kind of jumping up, which is what they do. If you said, Should you reinforce it? No, but he saw Frizzy, he sees Frizzy hanging around over there by the car. Anyway, I got the cutest photos and videos. Yes, unbelievably cute. You eat all your treats. So I'm just not going to react to that. And then he'll just go on and do something else. If every time he runs over here, I start reacting, and then he starts jumping up, he's really going to start jumping. He might lay down. But if you said, is that what you want? Oh, hi, Michael. That's what I want. I want a puppy that, that orients itself to the handler always. Not a handler that's chasing a dog down all the time. It's, it's exhausting. If a dog doesn't want to stay with you, you're just going to have to do all these things. It's easier just to make one believe it can't get enough of you. All right, let me just put Frizzy up a second and see if I can do something. I think you're starting out right away, getting a platform. You're not saying, I'm enough. I'm not enough to put on a whole show. I need props. Yeah, I see where that early influence of going under that platform. You know, to him, that grass tunnel is like that plot is going under the platform. Oh, because remember, I had that fake grass on top of the platform. No wonder he dives in there. So for a little puppy, I could use this lower platform. Oh, you little peanut. <laughs> or where's the footstool? Where's the footstool? I'm gonna put it way down there. Hang on, let me get the footstool. You don't want to lure him up there because it went up there on its own. You, you don't want to lure them up there, but if it occurs organically, <laughs> you little peanut, you better be ready to just right then. This is something works the first time, 
If he said, what is he thinking? Oh, it's helping me get closer to the food. He's gonna try that one now, maybe. You little peanut. You little Mr. Peanut. He can't help himself. So if you, can, if you can get him back in the same place, I'll usually repeat the behavior. You little peanut. So that's the same thing. He sniffed that little thing. I gave him a treat, and then he jumped up. The same behavior just repeats itself. <coughs> that's all they are. That's all they are. The same behavior just, oh, hi, Anacita. Anyway, that's how it goes. The same behavior repeats itself. So if you said, make it happen again, I'm going to try. <coughs> He did the same thing though. He looked at that little thing and then he steps up there. <laughs> then he looks at that thing again. And then Frizzy whines, he looks over there. <laughs> same thing happens every time. <laughs> you little beta. So that was three times in a row. So if you said, you know what? Oh, hi, Joseph. Try to make it happen four times in a row. Try to make the same thing happen. I'm looking at that thing too. <laughs> he bites at that little thing and then he climbs up there, watch. I just looked at it too. Oh, Fwithy, them Fwithy wind them ruined everything. So he bites at that little, if you said, it's just the handle. <laughs> if you said, I broke the task down into two separate things, in two feet, I'd say, that sounds about right. <laughs> if you said, maybe, I don't think I ever worked him on this before, but he just sees that handle. <laughs> I was trying to hurry. If you said, what were you doing to make it? I was moving my hands faster to make it seem like, you know, I'm trying to hurry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hi, Kristen. Uh this puppy is so cute. I, I never, I want you to start doing the footstool with the little puppies. If you said, I think because I put that climb in there, I'm going to keep on these people until they invent the climb junior. And then I'll spend the rest of my life saying, they invented the climb junior because of me. And if you said, what will everyone say? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Get over yourself. It's true though. He's going to look at that little thing. <sighs> He thinks it's something to do with that. You've got to be so careful. If you said that's incidental, it is incidental. But if you said, what if it was another behavior that was just sort of incidental? You have to be careful. You have to be careful. Is sometimes two things go together. And if you said, what can you do? Uh, you can try to marginalize the add-on behavior that they're coming again. All right. So if you, I mean, I wouldn't sit there and just keep tapping on that little middle part. Yeah. He looked down at it, though. You saw that. So interesting. Yeah, he stays over there. So the movement is kind of helping it get get there, but it's it's just the behavior is repeating itself. Very fascinating. All right, if you said, what can you do to get your attention more on the, I can, oh, hi, Linda, I can try moving. I made the purposely the crinkly noises. You see, he didn't do the, I purposely walked loud. If you said, why? Because noise and movement are the same thing to them. You know, if you said, that's what you, if you can make a loud noise, you know, he's beyond cute. I was just going to try it, and then he started doing it. So I'm just kind of setting up. 
If you said then what? I mean, I'm making myself more interesting than that dog by moving. So he's starting to kind of just do the little looking at that thing, but then kind of bypassing it quickly. And that's, I think, what you're thinking of, Kristen, with a lot of things. There's going to be things, everything's not always going to go perfect. You little peanut. You tiny peanut. And if things happen on the trip, if you said, how do I deal with something? You just try to create a little bypass. Speed, and if you said, what's the bypass? It's always just speed things up. If I just said, okay, my God, it's just unacceptable for it to look at that little dot in the middle. If, <laughs> if you said that to me, this, here, this Kristen, here's, let me poise this. If you said to me, listen, where I come from, it is unacceptable for it to look at that dot in the middle. I, I've got to get rid of, oh, now he sits on the other platform. If you said, what would I say? Oh, okay, make it go faster and bypass that part. Just make a bypass, bypass it, you know, not, oh my God, look at how cute. So the first time it ever laid on the platform, it got a trick, you know. I just still, that, oh my, you precious dog of my life. I could train this thing all day. <laughs> you precious, but look, I, this is how I'm giving it the treat too. It's clearly no obligation because I'm just, if you said, what's a no obligation thing? We're dropping it off on the way. <laughs> There's no obligation. We'll leave it at your gate. We're dropping it off. That's what I'm doing. I'm dropping it off. I've got other things to do, so I'm just dropping it off. So it's clearly no obligation. Not, oh, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to have, you know, if somebody said, oh, I wanna drop something off, but I need to talk to you too. If it was just like, I expected it to be some inane conversation. Oh, I would do anything. And I mean anything to avoid this talking. I would say this dropping off is now obligatory. If you said, what would I do? I would try to say, can you just try at my gate? Oh my gosh, be careful. All right, so watch now. Now I'm gonna try it. There's a lot of movement, 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 movement. <laughs> He's gotta think. You saw he thought a minute. He thought that doing that little head thing. <sighs> ah, I rewarded it. If you said, because he thought that that's what it was. He thought, oh, and the cutest damn dog on the planet. <laughs> Oh, my cutest dog of the world. Oh, the most precious on the planet. But that's what you want to think of. If you said, well, you were wanting to make, yes, I was wanting to make more noise. If you said, what if you were trying to sneak away? Well, I mean, you're trying to sneak away, but. All right, he might get back on that platform. All right, look, so here's a bunch of movement. Moving, moving. If my arms are adding a lot of movement to it, too. You little baby glanced at that little middle part. It's very weird. <laughs> if you said maybe it looks like a tiny object or something. Something. He just did it again. Maybe it looks, if you said, well, it looks just like your tiny whatever it was you had that you had him picking up. I'd say that sounds believable because it definitely, you know, if you said if you set a, the little watch, oh, maybe it does kind of look like the little watch band, don't you think? All right, look, so there's all kinds of noise, movement. You little peanut. Took the footstool, Jada. I don't know if you saw that, but he bobbed his head towards that thing. If you said because you were pairing it by that. crazy he bit at it as he went up there I, I think that that's a oh hi Deborah that's some kind of something because anyway that's what I've been doing with him and you see I've you know if this if you have one of these at home this is what you should be doing with them and I'm not touching him I'm not chasing him I'm making a point for me and my lieutenant which is this one to 
go away. If you said oh, that just makes it more appealing. Me leaving, that's one thing. Both of us taking off. Well now, now you're really getting left behind. Crazy, crazy exciting work. It's crazy exciting work. Am I wrong, Kristen? I don't know how we met. How did we meet, girl? How did you find me? Did I find, did I drag you off some chat board? I need to do that more. I go on there every once in a while and save like one poor soul from the, from the sinking ship. <sighs> that girl, Kathy, I saved her. She's all they kicked me off the e-collar chat board. I was just not the right fit. It. If you said your attacks on the stem and stuff, I would only guess. <laughs> I can only guess that's what it was. Anyway, guys, let me go. I'm gonna go get uh, Harley out. I think her leg is better, so I'm gonna work on that. Just do a couple episodes and just kind of try to decompress from my <laughs> holiday. So he's looking for something to do. If I've got the suggestion of going over by this footstool, he may just take it because he's already looking for something to do. <laughs> Tom, look at that dot. <laughs> I think that he thinks he might, if, if he got up there, it would be because he wanted to be bigger. So he could be big next to me. What are these guys do? <laughs> what are they going to do with? He doesn't know how to do the footstool. I want you to understand though, it's, he's, he's doing very small, you know, I think if you said initially, it's just re reward him for looking at it. It's just weird that it happened to look at that thing in the middle. But if you said, well, if you're just looking at the edge, I think you would, you know, reward that too. Anyway, guys, let me go. I've got, uh, George is coming to pick up Frisbee. Let's like dowel him off a little bit, but anyway. That's where we're at, and you can see, I mean, if he wouldn't have gotten up on the footstool on its own, on his own, I, I wouldn't have stayed out here trying to get him to do it and saying it needs to do this. You're kind of looking, finding, oh, what is its natural ability? If it could get on that platform, go, if, it, if he said it didn't want to get up there, didn't want to, should you just start luring it up there? Should you spend 20 minutes luring it up there? No, you really shouldn't. You should wait for something organic to happen and then reward it. If you say anything, anything. I want you to think of it like this, Linda. The kids went and colored a picture and showed it to you. Oh, you know, that's going to be different than I need you to color a picture right now. And then I don't go critique it, you know. It's just not going to work. Yeah, he might get back in the car. Yeah, he is getting in there. <laughs> he is getting in there. He already knows how to drive. I think if behaviors, organic behaviors are rewarded. That's how their life works. If we try something, you know. If I jump up and get something, and that works, I'm going to keep jumping up to get stuff. If you said, forever. I only lived 12 years, you know. If you said, well, I have had bad habits, and people say, oh, I smoked for 20 years. It took you that long to break the habit? Oh, look. He's going over there to look on his own. <laughs> I do think maybe that's what it is. It looks like the watch band or something. And then he saw me kind of going like that. He's going to look at it. Watch. Oh, you little peanut. All right, that was Connie dropping off Luke, but while I was talking, he got up there. 
If you said, if you hadn't done it, it would have been an opportunity missed. Yes. I mean, just one paw on there. Is... <laughs> now he's trying to get that thing in the middle. You little peanut. You tiny peanut. Look at the tail. Oh, that was, I don't even know why I answered that. I was static. I couldn't even hear him. Anyway, you guys, that's where we're at. And I'm going to be back with, uh, Connie's coming to drop off Luke. Frisbee's leaving, so it all evens out. And little peanut. Anyway, I'm going to message you, Kristen. Let me know what's going on. I want you to start doing some footage and start getting these harsh critiques. <laughs> Kristen's like, no. It's true, though. I, I mean, I'm not, I just tell people, move your arm, do this, do that. If you said that's what makes a difference, yeah, it does. If you said, what about, like, you mean driver's ed? Yes. If you're just holding the wheel with one hand at the top, they might possibly say, listen, studies have shown if you hold it with both hands. Watch him, though. He's already all about going around in this stuff. He's already looking for places to go in and all this. Look, he was already going in this little tunnels, all of it. Look, everything is a little. Look, you see how that shaped him. Look, now he's in there. <laughs> Now he's going all in the tunnels. Now he's over here. <laughs> I'm all about going in tunnels. That's where that came from, though. If you said, where is that coming from? If I had to guess, let me, let me see if I can get him and go in the ship. Oh, I need to move this because it's got like a climbing wall. I bet he could go up this climbing wall. They're supposed to be able to go in this pirate ship, too. This pirate ship isn't working out like it was supposed to because they can't, they can just only go in and get out. Right, I bet he'll try to get in there, though. Look. Little adventures, some little peanut. Oh my god, it's just beyond cute. Look, he's going all in there. Oh my god. He's a little pirate. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, you guys are going to get some pictures. Bye.